Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you would like to see how I achieve this natural soft glam on my beautiful client, then just keep on watching. Okay, so starting out, I already did her brows off camera. Um, and right now I'm just basically priming her lid using um, Pro Conceal in the shade Toffee. And then I just blended it, blended it out. So um, she requested that she wanted something natural because of her dress. So um, that's what I wanted to do. That's my favorite. <laughs> so right now I'm basically uh, setting her eyes. Um, that's just ex excess, I mean extra huh, powder that was left in the little band that I used. And right now I'm just adding just a little color to her eyes. I'm using the uh, Profusion Basic Palette. Um, and I'm just taking that little burnt orange shade lightly, putting it on her eyelids just to give her eyelids some sort of color. So right now I am basically priming her face. You guys know I love this primer. This is the Too Faced Peach Primer. Whoa. <laughs> and um, I just love it just because it just the longevity of your foundation and how soft and smooth it looks. I just love using it on myself. So why not use it on my clients? So the foundation that I'm using on her is Kiss. Uh, this is the Pro Touch uh, foundation. I actually love this foundation. I don't know, like it blended out and the way it sticked with the primer was like a one. This is actually in the shade Mocha. Um, it was actually a perfect match. I don't know. I've, I've been, my clients has been bringing me different foundation as you guys can see on my tutorials. And I just been like comparing the, the different foundations. And I kind of like this one, even though it's like a, you know, like not a brand that most people would go for when, when it comes to foundations, but I kind of like it for the simple fact that how well it blended and sticked. So right now I am, you know, basically concealing her, um, concealing her face using pro conceal these are two different ones this is shade toffee and chestnut i didn't put too much of this on just because of the foundation pretty much concealed everything so i was just basically following the steps <laughs> So now I'm just setting her under eye. You already know my favorite powder by J-Cat. Um, the Pro Lux powder in the shade Porcelain. Um, I was happy the way, oh my God, it looked once I set her under eyes and everything. It just looked really like, I don't know, like fears. If that makes sense. Like it just looked really good. I don't know. Moving on to contour, y'all know I love my contour. I am using, um, this is the Wet n Wild uh, bronzer in the shade Queensland, and then I'm using my Black Radiance pressed powder in the shade Black Coffee. So I'm just taking this brush right here to basically blend out that contour, making everything look seamless and blended together. So now I am basically setting her entire face using the LA Color Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm using that uh, kind of like dark medium shade to basically bring her face together. So once I have set her face using the NYX uh, setting spray, I just basically press in all that setting spray, basically locking in all that powder, ensuring that she has a long lasting foundation wear. So moving on to blush, um, I am using L'Oreal in the shade Brilliant Berry, and then I use Milani in the shade Berry Amore to basically, you know, those two together looks amazing. Moving on to highlight, which is my favorite part. I am using Wet n Wild uh, highlighting powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. Um, I actually kind of like this one. I feel like the more you use it and the more it like sets in, like the more you use your brush on it, you know, like get it like working. It 
glows a lot better like the beginning of me using this it was not as popping as it is now um i guess the more you use and the more you press it in the more it glows okay Did. right here i am using um the silver shade out of the perfect 40 palette um by nikka k and just basically giving her some sort of color and pop to her face um being that she doesn't have any color in her dress i mean and anything like that i just wanted to bring some sort of color and eyeshadow to her face so right now i am basically lining her lips y'all know that this is the part i love it's the end and um i'm just giving her something neutral tying in that natural glam and sealing the deal So what I did on her lips was basically take off that extra gloss because I kind of like the pink look. So I took the Vice palette by um, Urban Decay and put it on the shade. So I told her not to uh, pop her lips and she did it anyways. So I couched her. <laughs> but uh, I just basically used the uh, shade Safe Word in there. Yeah, look up. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Do you like it? Oh my god. Wait, I gotta let you see it in the mirror. She is all done. I thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Please comment below anything that you liked about this tutorial. Anything, please subscribe before you guys leave. I love you guys and thank you guys for watching. Bye.